Tesla founder, SpaceX CEO, and Hyperloop visionary. Elon Musk unveiled his over-the-top, out-of-this-world plan for the future of high-speed travel. His 57-page plan called Hyperloop Alpha is filled with formulas and renderings of next-gen travel. It's an idea for tube transit moving faster than the speed of sound. Musk said he pulled an all-nighter working on his plans. He describes it as a cross between a Concorde, a railgun, and an air hockey table. The new technology would be a travel tube with Concorde light seating inside. The travel tubes will be launched by a rail gun type launch power using a maglev system akin to the floating force of an air hockey table. Musk says he's identified a serious lack of progress in the transportation industry and wants to redefine it altogether. Is there a better way to travel quickly from, uh, say, downtown LA to downtown San Francisco? Because the high speed rail that's being proposed would actually be the slowest, of, of, slowest bullet train in the world and the most expensive per mile in the world. The Hyperloop would change transportation as we know it. Musk wants to start by building one from L.A. to San Francisco at a cost of just one-tenth of the previously proposed plan. But why stop at L.A. to San Francisco? Musk's grand vision is for a Hyperloop from L.A. to New York. The tubes could travel from New York to L.A. in 45 minutes and from New York to China in just two hours. Not only that, but he believes it can be done on solar power. TechFeed speculates on how fast we might go. It's basically an elevated system of tubes that has an electromagnetic levitation system installed to move the cars to and from their destinations, meaning travel speed could easily reach 4,000 miles per hour. 4,000 miles per hour and also no discomfort on the passengers, or at least that's the plan. Many in the media are going nuts over the idea. I love it. It is the voice that is needed to, to move us forward. Somebody that says, you know, these old ways aren't working. Old transit is kind of boring. It's inefficient. Why don't we leapfrog all that with something radical? And I'm glad we're talking about Elon Musk because this man is a visionary entrepreneur. And listen, I would bet on Musk if he told me that he were going to beat Usain Bolt in the 100-meter dash uh, because he is the Usain Bolt of startups. Now, it's easy enough to chalk this up as pure fantasy, but Colorado-based company ET3 is working on a three-mile long version of the Hyperloop and says it'll be ready to test by the end of this year. For Newsy, I'm Zach Toombs. Multiple sources, a broader view.